So I'm out in the shop, got a fire going. I have some finished sanding to do on my box and some uh, nickel plating I'm gonna attempt to do. I got some bolts that I can't find. Can't get the right size or shape or whatever in stainless. So I'm gonna try nickel plating and try to get all my finished work done here on this box. Hopefully it won't take very long and we'll find out. So I'm ready to do some final block sanding on this and preparation for paint. Just need to block it out, make sure I didn't miss any real big spots here. And throw some paint on her. how prepared you think you are, how close you think you are, it never quite done. Well, that's why I hate sanding. So I thought I was in pretty good shape before, and I put some surface primer on it and some guide coat and just thought I'd go over it one more time and I found all kinds of little scratches that I missed. So I'm still sanding. <laughs> it takes forever. I think I'm getting close. That side's down. I've got just a little bit left on this side and a few touch-ups along the back here. And I'll wipe it out one more time and check it out. And hopefully by the time we finish today, I can have sanding done, at least on a box. The uh, front panel I gotta do. And the tailgate, I think is pretty close. And then I go, forgot, I got steps too. One is brand new, so it'll be really easy. The other one has paint on it. I need to get off and get it prepped. So, anyhow, my main goal is to get the box prepped because I want to shoot it inside and out before I assemble it. Then I can do any touch ups at that point. But, anyhow, let me keep seeing it. I don't know if you're that interested, but I just got a, a shipment or a box of parts in today. Stuff, uh, seat belts for the cab. I wanted to get some new ones, so I got those. I'd like to see what they look like. I'd like to see how nice they looked. Sometimes you order stuff and you get it and it's a little disappointing <laughs> on the quality. Sometimes they're great, sometimes they're not. You just don't know. Oh, that looks nice. That'll look nice in there. These were a uh, ambidextrous. You can use them right or left, however you want it to. Yeah, they got a little bracket. Bolt that to the floor, bolt it to this unit. Hopefully that doesn't distract. I don't know if that color's right. We'll have to check that out. As long as it's close, right? That's all I care. So I've got one for the right, one for the left, and a center seat. Oh yeah! My gas fuel tank filler neck thing. I needed a new brake cable, new battery cables. Oh! Yeah! I was wondering, so I ordered new bed bolts, the carriage bolts for the bed, both bed down to the frame. They're a little chintzy. I was wanting to compare that. This is the one, the factory one, and this is the one I prepped that floor for, for a head about, I figured it'd be about that size, maybe a little smaller, because I knew it'd just be a standard carriage bolt. But I thought they would use this, what is that, half inch? Probably about almost twice the size of the one that I got. 
and that head's going to look ridiculous in that floor. I got it all prepped for a head that big. So I might not use these bolts. I'll save them for something else. I don't know. I thought they'd be really close to the replacement. I'm disappointed. So far everything else seems really good. But I, don't, I just don't think that's going to look good. So I will either go pick up some stainless carriage bolts of that size, or if that nickel plating works out, I'll, maybe I'll try nickel plating the heads of that. I'll have to prep that and get it all cleaned up so it's good bare metal. But we'll give that a shot. I got, I'll have to do something different. I can't do that. So anyhow, everything else looks great. I'll get this stuff, I'll get this stuff changed out later. It's all stuff for later. Seat belts, that's gonna be awesome. Great. All right, we'll get back to business. All the bolts and hardware that I'm using for this bed assembly uh, is stainless. But however, there's a few things that I couldn't get in stainless, so I was trying to figure out what to do, and I looked and looked and looked for bolts to replace them, and I needed something specific. I had some of these flat head, like a carriage bolt, but they're flat head, so they just sit flush. I couldn't get those in stainless, so I decided after some research that I would just nickel plate them, and nickel looks so close to stainless that it'll blend right in nicely. So I'm gonna try my hand at nickel plating, and I got a few things that I'm gonna try as well. I'm gonna try doing this brake reservoir cap in nickel, and it'll almost give it a chrome look. I could buy a chrome one, but I thought, what the heck, why don't I try that? And if it works, great. If not, then I'll have to pick up a chrome one. Anyhow, I'm gonna give this a shot. It's gonna, it's gonna take some pre-setup. I have to get the, um, the liquids, vinegar, salt, I need to get that mixed up and then actually charge that solution with nickel. So and that'll take an hour or two, I'll let that run. And then we can get to the nickel process. So this, I'm gonna get ready right now to do that. The idea is to have enough solution to fully submerge your parts. Just using distilled vinegar. I'm gonna go ahead and go a little deeper than I probably need because who knows what I'm going to wind up doing next. This works good. I might go looking for something else to do. And then just a pinch of salt. So they recommend pickling salt, something that's just pure salt. And they say just to use a little salt. I'm just going to put a little in there. and then I'll mix it. Oh, salt dilutes quick and vinegar. Who would have thought that? Got my anodes, I guess that's what you call them, just nickel strips. I ordered this off Amazon, I think it was $8, maybe not even that, $5. Anyhow, so for starters, need to hook up power supply and just run that in the solution for a while and that'll that will saturate this solution with nickel particles. It'll turn it green. I'm just using my battery charger on 10 amps. I think I could boost it up. But we'll just do this for starters. So that process has begun. We'll come back and check on it here a little later. Okay, so it's been over two hours and it's getting a green hue to it. I kind of would expect it to be a little more greener. So what I'm gonna do is just hook up both of these. Here, maybe, just to give it more plating. So this is what I'm gonna start with and actually practice this dipping. And I've got four of these. If they work out, that'd be awesome. Otherwise, I'll just have to go buy some stainless ones. <laughs> I just wrapped some copper wire around the bolt where I kind of wire brushed it and cleaned it up. And we'll see how that turns out. 
for a test. I'll just really only need to do the head of it. Let's just do the head. Dip that in there and getting something happening there. Well, I'll leave it in there for another hour to see how that goes. All right, so it's been about an hour. And it looked pretty good. I took it over to the polisher and hit with polisher and shined up really nice. The uh, wire that I had attached to plated as well. It worked out really good, so I decided I'd go ahead and throw that cover in and let it run there for, I don't know, I'll give it a, I'll give it in about an hour and see what she looks like. Get a good plating on it. And then I have a few other little things we'll do. And I might just do the other bolts that I got laying over there the same way. So I can tell it got a coating on it. It's kind of a tarnished look to it. Take her over to the polisher and see if she gets a good shine to her. There, it's got a nice shine to it. I got these other three bolts ready to go. Kind of a tarnish look to them. I'll go hit the hit them with the polisher and see how they turn out. All right, so I took them over and hit them with the polisher. Really shine them all up, so that's all four. That's the stainless bolt that I already had. And it matches really good with those. Nickel, it's like poor man's chrome plating. I don't know. So that's the bolt that I got from LMC. I could have just went to the hardware store and got this. And if I would have done that, I would have got the right size. These are strong enough to hold down a bed with six of these on, or what's that, not six, eight of these on a bed. Uh, they're plenty strong to hold a bed down and if you have the correct washer to go on underneath that, it would have filled that, that hole, but that's quite a bit different from what I was wanting. And the head is really, not not quite what I was hoping for so I will use them and return these okay just an FYI uh, there are two bolts for two different bolts for two different beds there's a fleet side mounting bolt and a step side mounting bolt I did order the step side mounting bolt which is that small bolt um, however I do want the larger bolt so that's what I set up for that's what I'm gonna use but I, I ordered the right bolt, just I didn't know there was difference. So just keep that in mind. Let's see how they rode it away. They were all squared off nice like that. So the plating process took metal from here and put it on my parts. So I have, I got two of those plates. And then I used just a little tub with just a little bit of salt. Vinegar is the main ingredients in this solution. It gets darker as you go, but you gotta have some green tint to this liquid for it to work. Um, smaller wire would work fine, 
may even be better because you could manipulate stuff how you want it a little easier. Um, so for my power supply, I just used my battery charger. And some of the guys were saying they're just using just a little bit of voltage. Uh, I went ahead and stuck it at 12 and cranked it up to 50 amps, I believe it was. Yep, up to my 50 amp. And it really got things, got the juices flowing in there. And that's pretty much my process. And I'd let it plate for an hour or so. And there's my finished parts. It's a chrome-like finish. Maybe polished steel, but the nice thing about this is it's not going to rust. And if you didn't notice before, that's what I started out with, and that's what my finished product is. I did a few of these. There's a carriage bolt, but they got a nice flat top on them. And I couldn't find those in stainless. So nickel plating them took care of that problem. Um, now I did this cover. It's got a nice shine to it certainly isn't chrome and it doesn't do anything to conceal dings and scratches some rust pitting in here uh, does it look better heck yeah does it look like chrome mm, almost looks more like a, a rough finished stainless steel <laughs> and then i did the bail as well and it does look like chrome it really shined up nice it had a good finish on that metal to start with just prepped it and dipped it or plated it and polished it looks good well thanks for following along uh, well let me back up so i did this just because some of these things were hard to find i needed a carriage bolt with a nice big head that's what i prepared for and i decided just to go ahead and use the factory one same with the carriage, these little guys, I needed something, I couldn't find it. So I just did it myself. Sometimes you can't find what you're looking for. Sometimes when you order things, they're not what you think they are. Um, so it was kind of a fun process, I've been wanting to do it. I got a few other parts down the road that I'll probably get to for Chevelle and other projects. And so I just wanted to kind of try it out, I've never done it before. It seemed pretty simple. The only thing I needed to order to do this was that nickel plating not very expensive so anyhow thanks for following along it's one of these things that I just have to try keeping me away from sanding because I hate sanding I've been working on that too anyhow thanks for watching catch up with you guys later bye